Hello friends, this is Second Gentleman. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your new Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8 device. So the first step is, is to access your phone, and put your password. Then from here, go to settings. Then what you do is, first go to connections click on Wi-Fi and make sure that you are connected to the internet press advance then from here you can reduce battery so you can just check one of these options if you want so like Wi-Fi power saving mode then if you go to manage Wi-Fi here are all of your saved Wi-Fi's but it won't show you the passwords of the connected or saved Wi-Fi's unless you root your device anyways moving on go back back then go to bluetooth click three dots nothing special here so we'll just move on make sure that this option is unticked then moving on data usage so nothing special here then NFC and payments make sure that you disable that option then moving on mobile hotspot close that off mobile networks you can keep that 4G, 3G, 2G or you can put 3G, 2G with that you can get extra hours of battery life now moving on Samsung clouds make sure that this option is disabled like all of these because it will save on the cloud to ensure that your phone data is secured in case your phone is formatted however I do feel like there is some concern related to this because without our constant there they back, back up our device so I highly recommend that you disable this by this you can also save more battery life can you go, also go to backup settings so it may take a while if it takes longer then just leave your phone on the table or somewhere on the platform and wait until it shows you that you have the ability to toggle on or off the options which is given so once the loading is completed just uncheck auto backup and that saves your better life and should increase performance of your phone now moving on go back then back let's go to sound and vibration make sure that sound mode is only on sound because that's what you basically want unless you want it in silent mode which is mute or you can just keep it on vibrate so in this case it is on sound mode so you can customize the settings for that particular sound mode so let's check the volume everything is high just like what I want by vibration intensity so I might just leave it over there notification sounds you can change the notification message and SMS or whatnot so we'll keep the default ones calendar notification yeah, not necessary touch sounds disable that screen lock you can keep that on or you can toggle off unless you don't want those noises sound quality you can keep it normal or you can change it to rock or any other equalizers now answering and ending calls you can put a special feature like pressing a home button to end a call or maybe like when someone's calling you just say the word answer with your voice and then it automatically answers I'll just keep that off for now smart alert stable I don't want sensors to run 24 7 then moving on to display you can uncheck auto brightness that should save some battery life 
then screen resolution keep it 1080p or 720 but there's not much of a difference so you can just keep it on 1080p as default when you got this device you can go to full screen apps then from here you can like if you downloaded certain apps from Play Store then you can force it to run on full screen rather than uh, small standard size screen with some borders on top and the bottom of your device status bar yeah, nothing there head screen I'll just keep that keep screen turned off so yeah of course then video enhancer disable that always on display if you disable it, you get more battle life, but I prefer to enable it just to showcase how my phone is and you know like sometimes to see the time if it's on the table while I'm on the meeting. Moving on, wallpapers and themes. Keep something black because your phone is AMOLED screen, so with a black wallpaper it saves energy by not drawing any of those extra layers of lights and whatnot so keep something that is intact but for now I will just keep it infinity then advanced features make sure that this one is toggled off then scroll down smart capture uncheck direct call easy mute uncheck swipe to call Percent director uncheck smart switch so now let's go to device maintenance so from here you can go to performance mode and keep it optimized otherwise you can pick the ones which you need in certain areas like if you want to use it for gaming then check on gaming if you want high performance high performance if you look for media then entertainment for high resolution and better quality cloud and accounts Samsung clouds make sure that you don't set up this account unless you want want it to back up your data and store it on your cloud now here you can see all of your accounts that you have kept on your phone smart switch again so accessibilities nothing necessary here so you can just skip that general management uncheck report diagnostic information because that tends to consume your battery life because it it's an ongoing process on your background because if there's any error then it will send to Samsung and then they will execute the matter on the next monthly security update information marketing just like that go back then software update you can check this option or you can uncheck it and check the updates manually if you want anyways that's basically it and I hope that it saved some juices of your battery life if it did work out do subscribe like and peace out